welcome to 10 Minutes Earlier. I'm so glad that you clicked play on this video and you are now a friend of mine. I cannot even say how happy I'm about this new series we're going to do on the fruits of the Spirit. Hey, did you know the Bible talks about us like we're trees? Yes, it does. And, you know, if we're a tree that's planted firmly in God's Word, then there's going to be things come from us that other people will see. Yeah. And the Bible talks about those things that we should be producing as fruits. Mm-hmm. Yep, as fruits. Uh, those things, you know, are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And those are things that every Christian needs to be bearing. You know, it's uh, it's like uh, it has to be done. Yeah. If, if you went to get a fruit off of a tree and you ate it, you would get nutrients, you would get things from it. So when we are producing these fruits, other people should be getting these things. They should be able to feel our love, our joy, things like that. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about the fruits of the Spirit in just a minute. We've had some people ask about the things that are on our table. And so here's the deal. These things on our table are all just random things that we have found around our house and they all have stories. Yes, they so do. We've been talking for a while. They, um, yeah, some are good stories, some are bad stories, some are Taylor stories, yeah. some are Ryan stories, but they all have some kind of story. Something. So um, we thought that we would talk about one today. The way that you'll get us to talk about other ones is you can either just contact us somehow, either through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, put a comment up there or something like that. We'll say your name and we'll talk about that item on an upcoming show if you'll do that. Mm-hmm. So I think Taylor's got uh, something that we kind of both have a story about that we're going to yes. talk about today. This car, this car, was this is a Pinewood Derby car. It was made out of a solid block of wood. And uh, this was back when we went, we went to church in Knoxville. And we all made these things and raced them. There was like huge races every year with these things. And uh, my dad um, tried to paint this car, and he painted over it like four different times. And it got to where there was just a big glop of paint on it. It was terrible. So we, we put this, this whole We bought a thing sticker. On it. We got he, wise. Look, here's the deal. Um, most of these race cars at our church, the kids may have helped. But their dads were like engineers, like half and like of astronauts, were like engineers. things like that. So that they've got these cars stuff. that are like flying down the thing. <sighs> and here comes Taylor's little car just wobbling <laughs> down. <laughs> and all <laughs> the, <laughs> it's the worst. Now, we never came in last place. I came we were, in second once. We read enough things Thanks. on the internet and things like that to make sure that it was about the middle of the pack. But these cars, I... Um, I don't. I don't want to say it was almost the death of me because it definitely wasn't that. But that's a saying. I cannot stand these cars. Okay. Terrifies. And honestly, this was the last one that we made. Taylor had stopped doing Royal Rangers. He got too old. This was the last one we made, and I was so thankful (laughs) that that we had some time where we did not make another one. I mean, every car. year all, all my friends and everyone, theirs would be like crazy and good and fast in the top and I'd be in the middle. One time I think I came in second. But overall, this is just a sense of pain just for like both it's of awful. us. I don't, I don't want it on this table anymore. I'm done with it's it. Gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, so the fruits of the spirit. Yes. We're, we're going to talk about a little bit about the fruits of the spirit and then we're going to pray and uh, just hopefully help you get your start day started right that's that's what that's we really want half to do. the point of that's the this. biggest thing we want to do is help you get to get your day started right so here's the deal with the fruits of the spirit when you're living like you should when you're doing the things that you should be doing these fruits are going to come out of you naturally yes just, just like they will just show up it's now now there's you know that's true and it's not true because a tree has to work to bear fruit um but i believe you'll find you go and you spend time in the word or in prayer or in worship and you know have you ever been to church and you went through church and you got out of church and you just felt better and you acted nicer to your to your siblings or to your parents or something like that that's because you've been with the spirit of god and with and um, it's fruit of the Spirit, so you got to be around God's Spirit. And if you are, then you're going to bear His fruit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And um, they're things that have to be done, which is why it's so important to get your day started off right. Because if you don't stay, you don't stay in the presence of God. You're not going to bear these fruit. 
I mean, it's like, um, you know, it's like watering your plant in the morning to make sure it lives. And you've, you've got to do it. If you do it, it will bear fruit. We're going to go more in depth about all the different fruits over the next series. But it's very important. This might be like one of the most important series we've made so far. So, over the next two weeks, we're going to take each of these fruits of the Spirit and we're going to talk about one of them each day. So, um, it's going to be a good time. You're not going to want to miss. You're going to nope, want to tune yours. in every day, every day and make sure that you get a hold of all these things. So, day. we're going to pray and we're going to ask God just to, just to help us to do everything He wants us to do. God, we just come to you today in Jesus' name and we ask that you would just help us, God. Give us strength, give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Help us to understand everything we're dealing with. And then as we do that, I pray, God, that you will help us. God, I pray that we'll be led by the Holy Spirit, and I pray that you would just take care of every situation that we run into. God, I pray for protection, and I pray, God, that your will will be done in each and every one of our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks for watching. Taylor's going to take just... Yes. 30 yes. This, seconds this is, to tell you what you can do to help us out. This is, this is what you need to do. You have to share this video on Facebook. If you are watching this, then you have a moral responsibility to tell your friends about this show. You do. A moral, a moral responsibility. responsibility. You have wow. a moral responsibility to tell your friends about this. You either need to go tell them about it in person, but more importantly, just share it on your Facebook. Everyone, I mean, almost all your friends will see it. Some people will be impacted by it, especially with this new Fruits of the Spirit. You know, you might have one of those people that, that, that gossips about people or is horribly mean to you or, you know, mean to other people and does, does stuff. They're not exhibiting those Fruits of the Spirit, so maybe they need to watch this. So share the video on Facebook. It's free for you to do. It takes like five seconds, and it could change somebody's life. So, so just do it. And if you haven't already, press that subscribe button so you can watch videos every single day because we want you to come back. And if they're not old enough for a Facebook, yeah, we understand. Old, but tell yeah. your parents to share it. Yeah, tell your parents to share it. And, um, you know, just do it. Yeah. Just just tell somebody about 10 minutes earlier this week. Yeah, you know definitely. what I mean? Anybody can watch it from anywhere. Anywhere in the world. You could call your cousin in Australia. And they, and they, and they can, can watch it. it. Your dad could work underground in Antarctica, and he could watch it. He could. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow 10 minutes earlier. Yeah.